Well, hello and welcome to Gemonism Gmod Nerdery Channel's Duplication Release Party 2. And now we will be spawning this. This is the Gemonism official airship. Yes, it is. Here it looks like Gemonism official airship version 3 manual. You install this by downloading the duplication 2 file from mod database and then you will paste this inside your data advanced dupe 2 folder the instructions are in the description in this video and also on the description on mod database which is a very good site since gmodism.org will not allow duplications anymore. Um, well, the dupe tool in Garry's mod is not complex enough. Anyways, when you've spawned this, I recommend using Advanced Duplicator 2. Um, it surely will work with other Advanced Duplication tools, but since I use this, I can only guarantee it with this one. And Advanced Duplication 2 is the superior duplication tool out there right now. When you spawn this anyways, you will be spawned with two uh, trash balloons that has no effect. Just shoot them. And then we will unfreeze this and we can see it's full forced. This we want to press E and drag it to the other side and then release it. Now it has full weight. Now we will be putting on um, not any fizz uh, gun prop, no. We will just be walking on this. And this is a realistic. It's ACF, it uses fin tool, and it's lifted by balloons only. Um, and it's listed what mods you need to install this. It's, it's the common ones. It's um, If you don't have the mods, that is used for this. I recommend it that you get them anyways. So it's a bit tricky to get on, but it's completely possible without note clipping. You just jump and then you press, you know, control. So you're crouching, so you can get in. And while you're in, you want to lift. This is Free Space 13, by the way. It's an awesome map. Uh, okay, so when you're in, this is the steering rod. And you just press E and drag it and then release E where you want it. Um, this is the engine key. This is the throttle key. This is the engine. And this is the gearbox. It's a CVT engine. And depending on what uh, where you have it, you will decide the speed. So we will continue with activating the gas system that will heat up the gas so we can lift. We are right now weightless. We will put it a bit more. Um, also remember that you as a player has a certain weight. Um, that is, if you are many players in one airship, it will rise slower because you weigh more. It's logical. I sure you understand it. Okay, now we're kind of weightless. We will start the engines. Okay, we're not really weightless. Like there. Okay, we'll start the engines anyways. Here is the engine. It's a uh, 62 horsepower engine. It's completely enough. A boxer. And we want a bit more lifting force. We'll put it to max. Uh, yeah. Have the throttle on for a bit we will be turning that way now we are too powerful here okay. and then this is where we're quite powerful we don't want that right now like that now we have a quite high speed um, when you have high speeds it's kind of dangerous moving around too fast on the airship um, these speeds are more okay. 
But when when you're here, when you're here, when you're here, I mean, this is dangerous. Uh, this is only when you're traveling this fast. You don't even want to crouch. You just want to sit still. Do not touch any of the movement buttons. But while you're in this, you're kind of safe. Well, just stand still. And then you might notice that. Uh, okay. Okay, I made a mistake. I've accidentally hit the boat with the crowbar, which is extremely powerful. I mean, it can take damage from pistol. Um, so you're kind of half safe um, if you're playing this on uh, half. If you own half five two, you have access to the half five two maps, as surely you have noticed that. Um, if you have that you can play Half-Life 2 with this. It's super funny and super hard. And you can take some gunfire, but uh, well, you don't want to risk very much. Anyways, do not hit the boat with a crowbar, then you will die. Anyways, it has some lighter uh, random armor on it. Like there. Um, and we were driving very fast on the first session. We will starting over again. Um, I mean, this is fun, not safe. There is a difference. Like here. Um, these two are the so you won't fly off um, if you're standing on them while in speed. Anyways, we start the whole system. Lift. Start engine. Okay. Start Daring rod forward. Not as much lifting for us. A bit more. It's quite sensitive. Anyways, gearbox. Like that. Hmm. Okay. Now we're quite safe. We're rising slowly. Just missed it. That's nice. Anyways, um, don't move around while in high speeds. This is quite high speed. Uh, I think the top speed is 40 or 30 kilometers per hour. But for the realism feeling, I didn't want it to. Uh... Oops, that happens if you're not still enough. Um, for the real realism feeling, I didn't want this to have a speedometer on it. So anyways, we will be lifting a bit more. So you press E and you move the lever and then you release E. It can get a bit tricky to get a hang of it, but it's it's very funny to drive around with this manual weight. You really feel like a ship's captain. Anyways, we will change the gearbox to a more This is quite, this is fast enough. While you're turning, you will automatically turn back to forward again, and just then just release it, and you will travel forward again. Like hold and release. Okay, that was a bit ah. You understand it while you fly it. This is a learn on the job thing, and this can go a bit more even faster, but I don't recommend it. It's nice to have it somewhere here, if you plan to do any attack moves. And that's what I'm going to show now. I put cool props on it, like clocks and computers, and I'm really happy about this control unit here. We will turn off the engines. And now we're riding kind of slowly. And you can set this to a... You can set this, like, in this way. And then you will have a slow circling of area, which you can use while attacking stuff. And now we just creep onto this by pressing, uh, yeah, you know, crouch button. And this is a prop which stops you from falling off, so you're quite safe standing on this. 
and you can change sides so you can stand around here instead and we want some speed then you just carefully go on to these uh, places it's very much more safe if you, if you just turn off the engines and then you can stand here and shoot down which is nice with these ladders and yeah, go back again it's uh, safest if you stand still while, you know, battling and shooting and stuff um, you can have a slow speed but I do not recommend having a high speed that's... Uh, well, you understand it you will understand it, please try we will be putting on a circling motion like this, lower a bit down again and I want to spawn I do not want this whoops like that that should be good I want to um, you have to have full concentration to uh, you know put the right settings for your traveling and I anyhow want some I want some enemies and we will see how we are firing we will just stand here and shoot at them and we will go a bit closer we will actually go a bit slower like that and we will be lowering this a bit more so we will we want to go quite close to them not too close but we have these tires that protect us quite good we can go up like broadside and we just want to creep up onto this we might want to have some speed just a little speed boost while we're shooting at them and now we have a very much enemy fire on us which will be making that we're not going to survive very long the ship might be in danger we want automatic fire whoa and there we died So. Okay, we're up in a battle. Hmm, I died. Anyhow, now you've seen how that works. Um, and it's very funny that it is destructible. Of course, you can make this tree prop non-destructible or put even more armor on it by yourself. But, well... This is basically the way to steer the official Gmodism manual airship. It's very funny. I do recommend it, but it's a bit... Um, it is difficult. I do not deny it's difficult, but it is easier than you might think with manual controls. It's possible to move around while in high speeds, but I do recommend only moving around in the ship in very slow speeds, like you see me doing. Um, try it out it's uh, it's very odd um, if you like my videos please like this video if you liked it and if you like all of my videos or want to see more of my content or maybe you don't want to miss the next uh, the next dupe well then I do recommend you subscribing to my channel you will easier find my videos in the